Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, and today we are spectating a game between Atmas and Snakerus. And this is going to be a judgment matchup. Snake looks like he's playing Decay here. Atmas playing a very order-heavy deck. I've been watching Atmas a little bit here. I've seen him smack some people around, and I've seen him actually get smacked around. So it'll be interesting to see what his order deck can do. I've heard some people complain and say order is the weakest link in judgment, which is kind of ironic hearing people cry about that, considering how strong order is in ranked. But I'd say Atmos is, from what I've watched, construct, constructed a pretty devastating deck. As he does have one growth already on the table. Maybe he's trying to show something, play some mind games here. Meanwhile, Snake playing some... Oh my goodness, so he's just got all kinds of resources here. Energy, Order, Decay. Plenty of cards available. It's going to be curious to see what goes on. He does get two Scavenger Constructs out early. And their mouths look especially like tasty dentata stuff. I don't know. But at this point, just waiting to see what happens when the cards flip back to Atmos at this point. Not too much else to play. I almost wonder if maybe he forgot to hit in turn. So we're just going to sit here and chill a little bit and talk about kind of what's going on here in Judgment. Because obviously since Scrolls is dying because there's a new mode here. Judgment, so far, it's been about a week since it's been out. I've personally really enjoyed it. And I've seen a lot of other people who've enjoyed it. I've seen some people who do have some legitimate balance concerns as Atmos draws a magnetizer and is going to be going for the Stone Pack Memorial early, at least to try and possibly protect his cards, ramp his resources a little bit more. But there goes one, and the scavenger constructs eat each other. I've heard some people complain that maybe energy is too strong and some cards need to be rebalanced in terms of their rarity. But overall, I'd say Judgment has been successful in breathing new life into this game because it's a, it's a draft mode. You get to play with... Uh, cards and stuff. I still do have the complaint that you can't edit your deck once you make it once. I guess I can understand it from a consistency standpoint, but um, Atmos is going to be holding on to the fleetness here. I don't think Blessing of Haste is going to be... Actually, he gets rid of the fleetness, so color me whatever you want to color me here. Uh, Snake Us with a Magnetizer. Is Atmos going to be playing one of his own right now? Because the Magnetizer is not going to be doing a lot of good here. But there's not too many things to play. <clears throat> But at least for the moment, what you get in this, what you get in Judgment at least, is you get to play with new cards. And while maybe the metagame has shifted a little bit in Judgment in terms of a lot of people playing Energy, there's plenty of viable strategies for other resources. I could go on the Boohoo train and say Growth stinks, but I don't really know if that's the case. I've faced some pretty devastating Growth decks. And the first time I drafted Growth, I didn't really know what I was doing drafting, so it's going to be something I have to fix. But now that we're sort of getting a little bit more into the game, Snake Us, <coughs> Snake Russ, I don't know why I keep saying Snake Us, like Snakes are Us, like it's a toy store or something. What we get here is just a pretty, I guess, weenie deck you could almost call it, because he's going for low resources on each. He gets another energy memorial out, and I know memorials are something that Mojang themselves has said that they'd like to change in the coming, uh, incoming patches in the future here. Um, Atma is getting a Mystic Altar. I'm still not totally sold on that card. And apparently he's not either because he's ditching it. Question now is what is he going to move or try and get rid of? It could be funny to move the Scavenger Construct with a Pother. But he may want to get the Royal Skirmisher out instead. Two Purifications are going to be good to hold on to since Snake Horse is showing Decay. But at least at this stage of the game, the Magnetizer moving up top will delay some attacking here. So he does get out the Skirmisher. Saves the Pother for a rainy day for when it can actually do something. Snake Rust does not have the, the cards enough to play Burn. He can get a Wing Shield out though which will be pretty nice at least from a defense standpoint. But he's gonna have to do something with his cards. He sacrifices for resources. He has three. He can burn in a little bit. It's gonna be interesting to see what goes down though because right now there is a lot of pressure on Atmos's cards. That those rows there, the magnetizer is not going to do a lot to deter until we have the pother, and the pother is just what Atmos need. He does have a tempo theft, but I don't think he has the resources to use it considering he sacrificed for cards. Question now is he can't put the wing shield out in front either. Oh, there we go, S sacking for resources. What is it going to be? Wing shield in front to try and save his cards. Snake Rush can kill that spearman no matter what pr by this point. But no, it's going to be. Atmos taking out the wing shield up there since it has armor zero at this point. Smarter move, wing shield up there. Taking his time, being deliberate with his actions. Magnetizer is going to lock down that other that automaton a little bit. 
Snake Rust with two burns, and burns are very nice to have. Especially for the wing shield right there. But that's not where we see the burn. The burn's actually from the Skirmisher on the bottom. Snake Rust drawing a charge coil that's not going to do him a ton of good here. But the question is, I guess, okay, he could have moved his cards around. But it looks like he just wants to do two damage to two damage to ye old wing shield. So that may have been a kind of a tough play there because he could have killed that wing soldier and that may have been the better play. But for now, Atm is with some control here. He could move his magnetizer up and lock down his other creature or lock down the automaton again. He could tempo theft actually, and that's what he's going to do and move and get his other creatures into killing range. Unfortunately, not too much else to do with his resources right now. Snake, Snake Rus, getting a Gravelock Elder. If he wants to play it right now, he sacrifices it. Actually, looks like that's a longer range card for him. Puts out the Charge Coil. Going to be doing some irritating damage eventually. He could actually focus the Magnetizer and kill that Wings Shield. That may be a partially hilarious, partially useful play here, and that's exactly what he's doing. Bzz, you didn't know the Magnetic Waves would be doing that one. All right, so Atmos, he could actually bear paw his own magnetizer, which would be equally funny. But there's the wings captain. There is kind of the bread and butter of your order of the day. So I guess the issue now is how is he going to make best use of his wings captain? Puts down a ducal infantry, and I guess the best use at this point is to wait for a position to actually drop it down appropriately. Right now, Atmos does have initiative on the magnetizer versus snake roast. So if he, if no matter what, we get bear paw on the wings. Blah, blah, blah. the wings other person by the way but right now these magnetizers at Mrs. will go first and will always lock down the other magnetizer and in fact kills him just straight up kills him because he has one attack why does he have one attack because of the ducal infantrymen and this is where at Mrs. knowing order and being familiar with order far far stronger player than i am but that's okay dust runner for snake horse i've had some success with dust runners myself at least from a deterrent standpoint but they're not as strong against order because order creatures tend to have quite a bit of health so that charge call is going to do a little bit of direct damage but not really a lot atm is getting a wings captain and an honorable general so far snake horse not showing anything in the way of poison just keeping his one decay so he's ditching the purification which i think is the right move here and the question is, is it Wings Captain or Honorable General? He's already sacrificed a fleetness. I don't know if Atmos has more than one fleetness in his deck. But we shall see. Both cards are good. Honorable General's a little beefier. Wings Captain's proc goes off a little more, and he does have a lot of soldiers. So we're just going to be shifting some units around. The Honorable General on the bottom. Since Snakerus cannot kill it, and especially cannot kill it now, so that magnetizer one attack every turn that's that's pretty tough to deal with yes that scavenger construct has 11 health but it's still just a wall you can deal with it eventually so it's here copper automaton what is the plan here is that copper automaton really just going to be going after the one health memorial be assuming atmos decides to tuck his general behind it which i think is more 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 than likely snake or snell not wanting to get his units in harm's way and that could be a kind of dangerous play here because he's leaving Atmos free reign to do whatever he wants with the idols up above. The focus not going to do as much good here. Atmos is playing with hex marks as well, which for those of you who are not as familiar with the card, three extra idol damage, second honorable general, and this is what I've seen before with him. This is a pretty ridiculous draft that Atmos has made, just going for order. You get two honorable generals, that's great. When he drops that wings captain as well, though, that's going to be extra, extra gravy. So right away... It is possible that that one honorable general is going to die if Snakers can draw some kind of direct damage to take out this memorial. Then that could be the case. Right now, Atmos sacrificing for two growth early and not too much since then. Snakers drawing a purification. This could be a fantastic time for a Mire Curse, but that's not the direct damage he needs. Still, he is going to go ahead and go for the Mire Curse in the middle of the board. And he's just going to go forge some direct idle damage here. Which is not an awful play, especially since the Mire Curse is going to be really irritating to Order players because Order loves to keep their units together. But still, some idle damage charge coil still going off just a little bit. No damage, though, to the Wings Shield because that's armor damage that stopped. But now, 
things could get ugly because Snake or because Atmos just drew another tempo theft. He could actually play the Wings Captain and a tempo theft in this turn, and this could get pretty scary, pretty hurt, pretty scary in a hurry here. But he's spreading his units out just a little bit. So I'm curious to see how he handles this. Can he actually take out a bunch of idols? From the looks of it, he could potentially uh, get a lot of cards going here. Alright, so shuffling the board around, get some wings, soldier around, and there we go. There is the tempo theft as everything on the board is activated. I don't know if that's enough to kill the scavenger construct with that dust runner dying before the final blow, but it's going to be a lot of damage. So at least there's that. No, it's only 10 it's only 10 health worth of damage. But more importantly though, the wings captain allowing for an extra movement, which means the mire cursed unit can just be out of the way and snakers now really 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 behind those two honorable generals and only a 30 card pull. Pretty ridiculous here. So Snakers, what does he got? He's got a Copper Automaton. What else does he got? He's got Spearman and Spearman. And this is where maybe your Triple Splash could be a little bit too of a generalist deck here. As opposed to Atmos, who is splashing some other resources, but not necessarily using them here. He has a Potion of Resistance. He can drop a Royal Skirmisher. It's potentially he could sacrifice for another card. But right now we have this Spearman, who once again is just ready to roll, ready to strike. And Atma's in a very, very, very controlling position. Moving his general so that one may take damage. Is he going to sacrifice for energy? I think he's already sacrificed for cards here. But if he sacrifices for energy, he could possibly protect uh, his general from any damage other than one. And I'm pretty sure that Snake Rose, if he moved up, could still kill the Wing Shield. But there we go, just drawing the other Skirmisher. Saving his Potion of Resistance for a rainy day. That one general can die from the crossbowman, but if he does move that down there, that crossbowman's going to be a problem. Heritage on the Copper Automaton. Now, that's a nice card draw combo. Because you get two scrolls when it dies, so boom, boom. Two more scrolls, another Copper Automaton. Unfortunately, not too much else to do right now. And Atmos should not have much of a problem at all in clearing this board. The better question from where I'm sitting is, can he actually end the game right now? And I think the answer is no. But he does have plenty of resources available to him. It's just that general getting its countdown knocked down by one is great, but it's not vi but it's not vital here. So let's see. That soldier does spiky damage. So it is gonna do it could actually kill the skirmisher at this point. So I'm pretty sure Atmos will want to avoid losing the skirmisher if he can. Or maybe he's just going to sack it to kill. It would be a one for one trade, so. What do we got here? We got a crossbowman that's going to die. We've got a wall that's going to get knocked down, but unfortunately, it's going to take all three creatures to do it, potentially. So, surrender from Snakerus. There we go. That's how some of these judgment matches end from time to time, though. Atma's having a pretty ridiculous draw, as I said before with his judgment getting two generals getting a wings captain just lights out just i would go so far as to say the kind of deck that or the kind of deck that would do really well against someone who's splashing so deep in the multiple resources although snakers had ways to ramp up his resources he just got behind and there's really no way to get back so this is at least another spectator look at scrolls uh, looking at some judgment, we're going to be looking at plenty of different modes here, and I want to look at different resources as well, but order is alive and survivable in judgment, but like many things else, it just partially depends on what you can get in your draft and then what you can make use of it, or make use of it. But this is Way to Fail, that's it for now, see you next time.